EA Games. Challenge everything. We are receiving various Russian reports. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Metal of Well, welcome back to Metal of Honor, but this is Pacific Assault. Since Germany's surprise attack against Russia in September, Russian military has been on the defensive for most of its campaign. The U.S. has assured Russian delegates that our country is committed to helping them in the fight against the Germans and are in the final process of granting them close to one billion dollars in credit for this cause. Yeah, Nikolai, hope it was worth a wait. I'm Walter Brannigan, so let's and go. this is World News Radio. New game. World News Radio is brought to you by Richmond Phonographs. I need to remind myself to not press anything. Last time I just clicked and clicked doing this opening scene and the weapon sound was gone. So note to myself, don't do it. <laughs> Hands off the fucking mouse. Friends keyboard. The sound was gone. We keep that up, there won't be no island left to walk on. That's just fine with me. Yeah, no way anybody's still alive on that joint. Wouldn't count on that if I was you. Any of you new guys feel like throwing up? Word of advice: do it now. <laughs> Three week wonders. That's what we called the new guys. That's all the training they got, and it wasn't enough. They usually didn't last very long. No matter how much training you got or how strong you are, when you strap up and step on a battlefield for the first time, it changes you forever. Terrell was just another strip of sand out in the middle of nowhere, but for many of us, it would be the last thing we ever saw. Tommy! I'll see you on the beach! I love this intro. Why didn't they make more games like this? Three seconds! Colin! Mount that 50! Well... I mean, I'm waiting, mate. That's not a BA, yo. Why am I so fucking slow? Oh, makes sense. Brother needs some help. Okay, this is very cool. Oh, I love the sound of the AO. What is this? Shit. Reload, please. Okay. 
Let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, oh, oh. I'm reloading! Look out! They're flanking! Puke, Worm, oh. and Scumbag. Just a few of the names I was given by my beloved drill instructor in the summer of 1941. Before then, my biggest problem was delivering groceries and not breaking the eggs. Now every time I turn around, some crazy Jap's trying to gut me. I remember asking the recruitment officer, what's the deal with you guys? I swear to God, he looked right through me and he said, deal, we're Marines, son, and we deal in lead. Next thing I knew, I was on a train for San Diego. Soldiering for the Corps. Boot camp. Let's start. This is how you make a game. September. Ooh, just before. Oh, a few months before Pearl Harbor. It was December. That has to be the drill sergeant. <laughs> Sobo. If his name is Sobo, I'm... <laughs> I'm the law. So hard. Rise and shine, ladies! Beauty sleeps over! Front and center! Do you understand me? In the beginning... Was God. All else was darkness. So God created the heavens and the earth. He divided the earth between land and sea. And these he filled with many assorted creatures. The dark, slimy creatures of the oceans God called sailors. And he dressed them accordingly. The flighty creatures of the air he called airmen. And these he clothed in uniforms which were ruffled and foul. The lower creatures of the land, God called soldiers, and he gave them trousers too short, covers too long, and pockets to warm their hands. And on the seventh day, as you know, God rested. And on the eighth day, at all 500 hours, God looked down upon the earth and was not happy. God was not happy! <laughs> so he thought about his labors, and in his infinite wisdom, God created a divine creature, and this he called a Marine. <laughs> and these Marines whom God created in his own image were to be of the air, the land, and the sea. And these he gave practical fighting uniforms, so that they could wage war against the forces of Satan and evil. And he gave them evening and dress uniforms so they might score with the ladies on Saturday night and impress the hell out of everybody. And at the end of the eighth day, God looked down upon the earth and saw that it was good. But was God happy? No! Because in the course of his labors, he had forgotten one thing. He did not have a Marine uniform, but he thought about it and satisfied himself in knowing that, well, not everybody can be a Marine. This puts me one step above God because I am a Marine. 
You remember that, and we'll get along just fine. Now you maggots have exactly three minutes until I expect you standing at attention outside. Fall out! That was fast. Whew. He scares me, Frank. I think maybe he is God. Well, Jimmy, <laughs> just keep your head down and do what he says, and we won't have to find out. Willie, you coming? Oh, yeah, Frank. Oh, hey, Tommy, right? Uh, Tommy Conlon? Uh, my name's Willie Gaines. This here's Frank Minoso and Jimmy Sullivan. Where are you from, Tommy? Oregon. You? Guys, let's head out. We don't want to piss off God, do we? <laughs> Today is the day we separate the men from the girls. You little pukes will learn the basic necessities for survival, and then maybe, I said maybe, you will become a part of the United States Marine Corps. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, Baker Squad. You are to sit tight and wait for your babysitter to show up. I am not him. Able squad, I want to see you ladies hightail it over to my obstacle course on the double. Move out! I want to see nothing but asses and elbows, ladies! Let's make him proud, boys. Stick together. You got it, Frank. Come on, Jimmy. Tommy? Let's go, boys. I mean, let me run. Oh, no run mechanic. Ob uh, yeah, it's generally speaking common knowledge. Where's... Oh, I was overtaking. Fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I was... I will not overtake you. Oh, there he is. This course will teach you the Marines way of doing just that. If you think you have a better way, you can leave now and go show your mother. You are government property. So you better do it my way and you better like it. This is Springfield, right? Come on, boys. We can do this better than that group. Let's show them what we got. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay. Now get over that wall. Ladies, now run through those tunnels. This here in front of you is the Marines' mud pit. Think of it as your own. Now get on your bellies and crawl like the bird you are. If you get caught in that fire, I'm going to be here. Brownings. Move it. Come on. This reminds me of Call of Duty 1. We don't have all day, sweetheart. Get up and over those ladders! Now you are going to learn how to use that rifle that you love so much! Oh, holy. Hit those dummies with the butt of your rifle! Whack the shit. Cross the pit using the balance board. Double time. Oh. Yeah, boy. Sergeant. Uh, I'm sorry. You I will <laughs> not apologize. You will continue to destroy the enemy any way you can. What are you turd balls looking at? If the rest of you had half the strength of Private Minoso. I might actually have something to work with! Well, I can't believe you all made it through in one piece. Now let's see how you girls handle the business end of your weapon. Get your butts onto that transport and we'll finish on the firing range. Move it! Yes, sir. Oh. He doesn't Man, see what me. What a hard ass. You said it. Knock it off, you two. That was the hard part. Move! Who died and made him boss?
I like that there is the old Ella the Salt's ticking sound. Welcome to my firing range. You will listen to every word I say. I have not lost a single scumbag on my firing line, and I will not lose one today. Do you ladies understand me? Oh, now gather up some ammo, yes. pick a spot on the range, and we'll get to work. How the hell do you lose somebody on a firing range? I mean, probably people just shooting at each other because they can. Take one box each, boys. One box each. Are you sure? I want more. Are you? Ooh. Aim at the Good. target in front of you. If you hit one, and I mean the bullseye, wait for it to be replaced with a new one. If you move, it will not be very accurate. So keep those boots planted. If you nail down, you will be more accurate. And getting down in the dirt is even better. So try all three positions. Ready on the right. Ready on the left. Stand by, targets. Fire! Hey, there's a moving target. Or am I going crazy? Ooh. I think that was way better. Holy crap! Looks like we have a killer! Conlon, your new name is Bullseye! As you were. Nice shooting, Davy Crockett. Hit fish in a barrel, huh? Conlon, Gates, we have two scope rifles available for use today. See how many hits you can get on the long range targets. Yes, sir. Give me that ammo. I'll hold it. Oh, come on. This is amazing. It's fun. I like the fact that I actually don't have a camera. Tommy, that's right, ladies. I'm a crack shot. Just get me over to Germany, and me and this rifle will win that war all by our losses. Talk is cheap, That's a pretty fair shooting. Let's see what you boots can do with the auto. You four head back to the ammo table and Corporal Bates there will rescue you each an M1928A1 Thompson submachine gun. Do not let those rifles hit the dirt, maggots. Ooh. <laughs> Big gun. Um... These weapons are fully automatic, but that does not mean that you should just spray and pray. Take your time to aim and fire the weapon in short bursts only. Yes, sir. Oh, this moves a lot. Not bad, man, not bad. Fetch your rifles back up and let's move on to the heavy. The MP here will continue to supervise your apparent lack of shooting prowess. Let's go, man! I need to leave the rifle. Oh. You worthless duke! I'm ready to pour if you right out of my car! Um... I'm way too fucking slow. Hold up, Private. I'm gonna need to take those weapons from you. 
I really thought I didn't. <laughs> well. At least the jumping first is better. First things first. Private Conlon, grab that demolition charge from the table. You'll see behind me that we have some beat up jalopies. Today, we're gonna blast the living hell out of them. Private Conlon here is gonna get things started. Private, get your sorry tail down there and plant that charge on one of those cars. That thing is live, so watch yourself. Yes, sir. Okay, let me just look at this car. How? Why? Okay. Oh. Now oh, okay. get your butt back up here, Private! Blow up. Good work, Private mm -hmm. Conlon. You may just yet make PFC. Let's move over to the grenade station. You gonna take something from me? <laughs> All right, pick up a couple grenades. Don't worry, ladies. These are training grenades. You think I would trust you with a real grenade? No! Pull the pin and let him fly. That guy. See if you can hit some of those barrels out there. Let's use it. Ooh. Oh, ooh. okay. They're fucking back. Well, this is not going to be easy. Please, yes. Very well, pond scum. Some of you can do better, but it'll do. Like this. You don't need those anymore, Private. I don't think I had any. Dickhead. Now here we have my personal favorite. The M1919A430 caliber machine gun. I want two men. One is to act as a spotter and reloader. The other will fire the weapon. Come on, Tommy. I'll spot for you. This ain't my cup of tea. Okay, let her rip, lady! Oh. Oh, you can see me now. Come on, get that fucking... Wait, 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 mortar? Uh, oh, boy. You may notice we have a fine piece of kraut craftsmanship on the mortar range. Well, you maggots are the first to get a crack at busting that jerry cab into scrap. The first recruit who gets his mortar set up and hits that truck will win my never-ending incredulous surprise. <laughs> Full depth to get on the mortar. Oh, wrong one. Oh. Well done, Private Conlon. Your heavy weapons proficiency has been duly noted. Let me just see. If this is easy, I'm a fucking. Well, at least I hit something. Now, except maybe for Minoso here, I most seriously doubt any of you will ever be in charge of anything but your own sorry ass existence. However, there will be times when lives depend on one of you maggots making the right call in the field. I expect each of you to rise to such an occasion. Sullivan, there is a Marine bleeding to death in the open. You cannot reach him without support. Let me hear your call for suppressing fire. Suppressing fire! Right arrow. I know so. You're one aggressive son of a bitch. I bet you'll be charging headlong into hell for the core. Let me hear you tell these pansies to move up with you. 
Move up! Outstanding. Gaines, you, on the other hand, strike me as someone who'll turn tail and piss himself at the sight of an advancing enemy. Am I right? No drill, Sergeant! Well, ain't that a shame? If the combat situation dictates, you may need to do just that. You are heavily outnumbered, Private, so you better tell your squad mates to fall back. Fall back! Good. I don't care if you're sucking face with Rita Hayworth herself. You hear a Marine call out, you best respond. Private Conlon, you are being fired upon. Your squad is out of position. You need to get your fire team back into formation. So let's hear you rally these boys! Let's tighten it up, boys! Good! Let's go! His mouth didn't open. Medic station! All right, man. That's enough for today. Good work out there. But oh my god, Gaines! You've just been shot! Hit the deck! I said hit the deck! Okay. Now, there's two things to do if and when you are hit by an enemy in combat. Number one, apply pressure to the wound. Next, if you can, call for a corpsman. If you're lucky, one will be around somewhere nearby. Private Sullivan, I understand you have a medical background. Yes, Sergeant. Well, lucky us. Make your way over there a bit and play doc for us. Conlon, you take Private Gaines over to dock to get him patched up, and then hightail it back over here ASAP. Yeah, what, F? Careful where you squeeze me there, Tommy. <laughs> hey, thanks for the ride, Tommy. That was quick. Magic juice. No. What do you mean, no juice? Well done, Private Conlon. But you've just been shot as well! Hit the deck! Got it. Apply pressure to that wound, Private, or we will lose you! Uh, B. Now, call on that corpsman so we can get you patched up and back into action. What is it? Fort. Can call it four times permission? Is that what you... Is that what you mean? Okay. All right, men. Good work today. I yeah. do believe that with a little more work, you may have a fighting chance. Let's get scrubbed up for mass. Move out! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for the introduction into Battle of Honor Pacific Assault. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Frank Turner reporting. And see you next time with the first mission. Bye-bye!